Hey guys, I didn't do all filming, but I'm currently disassembling my Sony 555 ESA. As you may see, that's the only model which has a white uh, cassette holder. Uh, what I mentioned that uh, Capstan motor capacitors hasn't been replaced yet, so I will be doing that and verifying like uh, everything uh, because like as you remember we had a drop so i need to check the tape transport seats well and intact here is the internal layout it's pretty similar to the previous model you sell so you see that still has holes uh, to adjust uh, record levels on the lower board uh, in the later models, it has been eliminated. Um, all in all, pretty nice chassis, done well. I removed all uh, like uh, exterior exterior parts to not scratch them in any way. Uh, everything looks to be very nice. All right. And uh, here is the uh, record volume port. I would need to deoxidize it. It's a little bit scratchy, uh, but that's it. And then when I will like verify everything, check and assemble, I will check the params and we will see how well it's, it works. But here you may see the size of the capacitors on the power lines, the power transformer seats in the metal cage. Um, here tape transport, control transistors on the large radiators. Like uh, what I'm also mentioning that uh, wires are uh, tied together and like uh, probably the, the best layout I've seen so far in the Sony DeX. So they use this round holes and they are, you see, has this are uh, like a uh, riser inside so wires would not be cut so it's pretty smooth area um, well I pretty much like how it's designed so let's see let's see and I, I made a decision I will replace capacitors I did listen more yesterday I listened recordings I made and um, yeah, even if it's a couple percent difference, but it's it's those couple percents, percents uh, the audio files are paying for, right? When you like uh, buying a more expensive amplifier, a little bit more expensive equipment, uh, like a little, little, little bit better, but much more expensive equipment. So that's the point. Um, so let me work on it and let's see the final results. See you and bye bye. Okay, and while I disassembled, I mentioned that this probably is the best uh, mechanism for cassette stabilizers Sony ever made. It's better than the insulator models. So you see these levers here on both sides. Uh, so they are pushing this stabilizer to the tape, to the cassette, and cassette will be pushed back. Uh, it's pretty similar to the later designs, but the difference later designs, I, I haven't seen these uh, levers. So they had a different uh, sprint mechanism there. That I like much more than other designs. So I will be checking up tape pass now because like, I, I like to make sure that it's fine. And then I will uh, remove the Capstan board and replace the capacitors. See you soon. Okay, guys, I'm just checking up tape pass, and luckily it's intact. So after drop, nothing shifted away. So both guys uh, work well. And the only thing which uh, was a uh, pinch roller was pop up out of this uh, arm. So now I install it back and it's, it's fine. But I mentioned that this uh, Japanese shop, when they uh, did replace belt, uh, 
they did not put back the like uh, they didn't fix this nut so you see so there is no like missing our uh, I'm using nail polish to fix this, so but they are didn't put it because they have been replaced in pinch rollers. So these both are new pinch rollers of a good quality, and the belt belt is new and tight, so it's 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 tight, but you see it's thin and it's uh, one of the originals. So that was I like. It will last a long time. I I will just fix here and let's continue so far so good see you and here what I thought so if you will look right here you would see that capacitors start leaking and the parts are start deteriorating so I will be replacing these two capacitors to avoid any future surprises and here how everything looks like. So comparing to the cheaper models, 555 has both capstans with magnets and these magnets pulling them back. So they see on this uh, sapphire bearings. Or oh, they name it lapis bearings because it's lapis sapphire. I mean, they uh, get it from Afghanistan. It's, it's uh, mined there. And like uh, here is a steel plate, so magnets here are uh, pulling uh, back uh, to the steel plate so this boss cap stance sits on the sapphire bearings and keeps phase extremely well okay moving on hey guys and uh, here is the final results so as you may see boss capacitors are installed and i had to restore a trace here so it started deteriorate. Uh, so this trace is a plus, I believe, five volt. It gets to this capacitor here, and then distributes further. So it had like already like a black cover. So I just scratched it carefully and then like used a solder to cover the bare copper with solder. And now it's cleaned, so I cleaned it from all sides. As you may see, now everything looks perfect. Now I would add a little bit of lubricant into both bearings. And I will check if capstans are lubricated, like capstan bearings. Probably will add a little bit more oil and will assemble because everything else uh, has been done by Japanese guys pretty well. Belts work well, uh, motors work well. Let's see. And here is the head. Let me bring more light. So, it looks very well. From every perspective. Okay, moving on. See you. Bye bye. Okay, guys, and here I'm doing final test before assembly. I'm using my power supply, six volt, uh, to attach to the control motor to pull up the heads. And here is how tape pass looks like. Uh, I feel it's it's fine. Uh, you see a rice head sits in the middle. Even if it's a little bit. I'm good. This would not affect significantly. This is not a significant shift. But everything else looks to be pretty fine for me. Now I will pull down the heads and continue assembly. I believe for I done everything I could with this tape transport here. Uh, I just check it heads under microscope and it's it's just like so minor wear. Like, uh, it just been like, used it a couple times maybe. So I, I'm very happy. Head is, is like brand new. So let's assemble, measure results, measure parameters and see how this deck performs from technical perspective. See you soon.